Terrell, in fact, has a news alert regarding Merck. I'll bring her in now. Meg, I think you just got off the phone with Mr. Frazier. Is that right? I did, Scott. I sent him a note this morning just saying, you know, I'd love to talk with you about sort of your, your career and your reflections on that career. And, you know, my phone rang. It was Ken Frazier. Uh, we had a 20-minute long conversation where he really reflected on, on what he'd accomplished at Merck, but also what comes next. He said public service is what's in his future. There's been speculation he might run for office. He said that is not currently in his plans. Uh, not in my plans was his exact quote on, on running for office. He said public service does not have to involve politics. His passions and focuses have involved equity, justice, and education. He, of course, uh, is a co-founder of the 110 initiative to close the opportunity gaps for black Americans. Um, so those are things that he has focused on even as being CEO of Merck. You know, I asked him why now is the right time to, to resign as CEO of Merck. And he noted, of course, they had already extended the time when CEOs normally stay. He's over the age of 65, and they actually allowed him to stay longer than that. He'd been CEO for a decade. Um, and he said Merck's long-range plan looks very strong. One of the things he really wanted to emphasize is just how important the employees of Merck um, have been to the company's success. And, you know, we talked a lot about Keytruda, that huge cancer immunotherapy drug, of course. He said, quote, it's the people of Merck. It was their commitment, their dedication, their brilliance, their perseverance that led to a number of important products coming to the marketplace. And my role, he said, was to get out of their way and give them the resources and the peace and quiet to do what they did. You know, he was one of the last employees, if not the last, to be hired by Roy Vagelos, who's that legendary CEO of Merck. Uh, and he said when he became CEO, Vagelos told him the most important things are how many people can you help and how much can you help them? So I asked him, how did he feel he did on that? He said, I did all right.